Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road Where mama and papa used to go Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago And pine for them old days of yore Well, let me run through the breeze like the leaves on the trees Let me fly like the leaves when they fall Well, let my mind go serene like a cool water stream That runs from the mountain so tall Oh, take me back down the old dirt road that I consider pretty spectacular is that right now I'm doing what I read about being able to do a year ago. mattress is a little smaller than than I had before in fact I ended up having to cut a little bit of it off to make it fit over the top of the wheel well but I can lay on my back with my arms to my side and I can of course lay on my either side so that definitely works the um, so can we check the sunset we still got a little bit So, um, the kitchen works flawlessly. The only thing about the kitchen that I'm definitely going to need to do is go back in and maybe put some screws along the side of the uh, slide out above the slide out so it doesn't interfere with it and mount a few of the smaller things that I kind of keep stacked on that, uh, on that tray with the stove. Now, there's really no way around putting some stuff on it because there's so little space in the exterior I'm obviously going to need to put uh, stuff in every crevice every nook or cranny that I can find so um, that's a moot point it's definitely gonna there's gonna be some stuff but some of the smaller stuff that I need like uh, my, my sharpening stone and uh, maybe even the skillet I might be able to actually uh, mount that in some way that uh, that it'll be secure as well We'll see, that'll be tricky because there's a little bit of weight to that one. It's a small, it's really cool. You'll see it uh, in the future, but it's a small skillet about that big, um, cast iron. And I seasoned it, so I'm able to use it. I just obviously am not going to be building, you know, or building, cooking um, huge portions. Which is good because I'm already starting to lose a little bit of weight. Um, so, anyway, where to from here? My, my concern so far has been that like national parks are readily available I can get in for free I can't camp for free I can get a discount I can get into state parks I pay uh, Texas State Park I pay uh, full price other states actually honor the national pass and and give me an opportunity to pay half price or even a, a, a deduction is uh, you know a, a, a 
a little bit of savings is, is a good thing. Um, Texas is interesting. There's not a lot of BLM. Well, I, I didn't see any BLM land. There's very little national park land. There is uh, national forestry and monumental and uh, recreation areas. But as far as like free camping, there's very little. Again, that place up in uh, uh, Amarillo from a previous video, Amarillo by Sunset. Um, that location was at no cost <laughs> either that or i passed the kiosk uh kiosk and, and and didn't fill out an envelope and pay um i just drove in and parked and camped and and left uh, i know this uh, is going to be something that i'm going to need to know in advance i'm going to need to know if i need to pay or if it's if it's going to be free i don't want to well, I certainly don't want to take advantage of the opportunity to, to um, camp even at a discount. So if, it, if, it, if it's at cost, if there is a cost, I need to make sure that I cover it. I do always still uh, work on you know, making the place better than, than when I got here, leaving only um, tire tracks or footprints. Um, but I have apps on the phone, and I've been using them fairly regularly, but what I didn't realize is that uh, there's, there's not a great deal of information in each one of those apps. Sometimes that's why people leave reviews. They need to uh, leave additional information. Um, and then in some cases, when I don't have service, I don't have access to the apps. Now, I mean, that, I mean that's not a surprise to me. The surprise is how little service is available, obviously, out and about. So um, I'm going to need to pull out my atlas, and I'm going to need to use that a little bit more often. And what I can do is I can just plan my route, either identify a couple of alternatives, but at least know in the area in which I'm traveling uh, on the map how to get to... Uh, one or two or three locations that I can camp. And then of course, um, and of course have, you know, that information written down, which I can use either my Remarkable or I can write it on paper. I do have a, a kind of a, a real quick pen and paper notebook that I grab out of my uh, computer bag but my Remarkable is equally as, as readily available, but I don't necessarily use that for anything other than journaling or to transfer information so that I can have an electronic copy of it available to me. I can email it to myself and then I can store it, um, store it uh, on my hard drive, external hard drive, of course. I was surprised that the uh, MacBook Pro only has a 512, well, I mean, that's what I chose, and they offered a terabyte, but it was a considerable price. And terabyte and external hard drives are, I could get three at that, four at that price. So that's basically what I did. Anyway, I'm sure that's by design. I digress. <laughs> Where to from here? Um, I really, I really want to um, work towards finding as many places that I can camp free as I can so that I'm not paying to camp. I already have a couple of other bills that I'm uh, working on either downsizing or getting rid of completely, but uh, until that happens, I need to make sure that I watch my expenses because obviously uh, when I get out and about, uh, fuel costs are going to go up considerably. Um, probably not food. Um, but incidentals, things that, that I need, or if there's repairs or anything that, that happens with the uh, with the Xterra. Xterra. Sarah has been very good so far. Um, I do need to look into, um, well, what I need to do is I need to pull that air filter off and clean it out because of the trip to gutted and uh, the dust that was there definitely need to bang that out. It was brand new when I put it in, or excuse me, whenever I headed out to um, gutted. I had the oil changed and I had the air filter replaced, but it definitely needs to be pulled out and banged out or blown out. So 
Um, I want to be able to camp for free if at all possible, and if not, then I need again need to keep the expenses down. But I also want to document a little bit more, and uh, by doing that, what I'm going to need to do is considerable, or excuse me, consider short trips, not long trips, not from Washington to Texas or Washington, even, you know, in a day, Washington to uh, southern Utah, that it would need to be within the state or even within a couple hundred miles. <clears throat> Something that can be traveled in a day with documentation, with, um, with uh, uh, you know, B-roll considerations and all the other things that, that I have to do to, to put together um, this production. And then, of course, keeping it real. You know, what is it? What, if, what is it that I'm doing? What I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm documenting, uh, or at least this is, you know, kind of the way that I have it uh, set up. I'm documenting where I'm going and the significance of the area, but then also my experience in the area. So how am I interacting? Am I interacting with uh, nature itself, with geography, with people, meeting different people? That's one of the things that I have on my journal even if it's just introducing myself and, and then by name knowing one new person is uh, at the very end of my uh, kind of a, a uh, my considerations in the morning, the, one of the last things that I, I put is meet someone new today. And I'm, I've made a concerted effort to continue to do that. And uh, some I remember, some I, I don't. I met uh, uh, JT and uh, John the last two days. And, uh, of course, I've got a good friend, John, that's in uh, Flagstaff right now, which is where I'm headed, or I'm getting ready to head that way. Um, I look forward to linking up with him and maybe bouncing off of him some, some good ideas on how I can get the, uh, the travel nailed down, where I'm going to stay nailed down type thing. Um, traveling shorter distances or longer distances, uh, finding places that are free or... or uh, at cost. He has a bus, a schoolie, so he wouldn't be able to get as many locations, get to as many locations as I can in Sarah, but um, there are obviously, you know, a considerable number of areas or places that he can. Uh, anyway, you know, just it, it kind of brainstorming, you know, where to from here. And I wanted to sit down in front of the camera and and get some you know, get some information because I, I genuinely want to, I want to be able to, uh, to do right by you guys, make this an adventure for everyone. And, uh, for that, I thank you. Thank you for, for joining us as long as you have and hope that you continue to. Somebody driving by. Um, they never wave, or at least the last three people that have driven by. Again, I digress. All the best. All the best. Take me back down the old dirt road Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down